All right, guys, now it's time for us to unleash our anger. In other words... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, I gotta wait, I gotta get the sound effect. Sound effect, where is it? General sound. It is time for... The Shitstain match. The worst match of the year. Oh, man. <laughs> Love that show. Best game show of all time. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't really know which one to go with. I could go with either or. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a tie. Very good. I have a tie. A men's match and a women's match. I think I know what the women's match is going to be. Before. The women's match from Survivor Series. <laughs> Nikki Bella versus AJ Lee. Negative five, minus five stars. This match was an absolute dud. It was only 30 seconds. Brie Bella kissed AJ. Oh, that match. Yeah, Brie Bella kissed AJ Lee. Nikki just comes in and wrecks the crap out of her. Gives her the rack attack or whatever it's called. I'm I'm surprised they even call it a match. Rack attack. No, it was a match. And it was a dud. That was the biggest dud I've ever seen in my life. I'll just say Survivor Series, that was probably the worst women's match I've seen all year. Yeah, I agree. Now, as it comes to the men's match, <laughs> I remember watching this, and I was pissed off after watching it. Adam fisted in his rose, and Fandango. So bad. <laughs> this match was so bad. Oh my god. We have we have Adam Fist Nanish Rose and Fandango Berry the bitch ass. <laughs> this oh my god, this match was horrible. That was the pre show, wasn't it? No t- two pre show wait, yeah, no, wait. Yes it was a pre show match. It was for battlegrounds. Ba- it was at Battleground. Oh my fucking god, I know. This that pissed show. me off so much. So, so much. It was bad. It was only a minute long. But it doesn't matter. It was still bad. Holy God. Fist the anus versus the feminine Don Flamingo. Oh, man. A close, close, close third place, or second place, would be Cameron, Cameron versus AJ Lee at Elimination Chamber. She cannot wrestle if her life depended on it. No. Cameron cannot wrestle if her life depended on it. And, um, yeah, she simply take, put... She needs to take some lessons from Alicia Fox. Man. Yeah. <laughs> or Melina, because her, those are her oh, role models. Yeah. Um, so those are my worst matches of the year. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. You know what? Okay, this is funny, because if you notice, oh, other than one honorable mention, I'm keeping it down because they're getting bad outside. <laughs> No, really, I do have to keep it down. The reason why, if you look at my top ten list, name a superstar that wasn't on there. Fuckboy Buckethead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God, I have three of them. One of them is that fucking table smash between Fuckboy Buckethead and Seth Rollins. Yep. Horrible fucking booking, man. Horrible. The next one, the cage match between Bray Wyatt and John Cena. That was bad, too. Once again, horrible booking, protecting Cena. You have the Survivor Series 4-on-4 elimination. That's the worst Diva match of the year for me. Because that went on for so fucking long. I can understand certain matches that are really short, you know, that'd be bad. But I'd rather get kicked in the nuts for 30 seconds than get kicked in the nuts for 14, 15 fucking minutes. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) However. Uh Uh-oh. One match. Folks. I already please, did please. a whole video on this rant. Me please, throwing please. shit, going fucking ape shit on this match. Because I couldn't believe what the fuck I saw. And motherfuck Bleach Report. I'm yes. giving this bullshit an A mm, Yeah, I knew it. John Cena, the fuckboy buckethead, Fruit Loop Dingus, rainbow looking piece of shit, versus the Viper Randy Orton. 
We've seen this match 50 million fucking times. You knew everything that was going to happen because it is rinse and, rinse and repeat. Vince McMahon is so fucking out of touch. And guess what? They had a hell of a cell match in 2009. Yeah, they did. Then you have this hell in a cell match, boring as fuck. Mm -hmm. I said it before and I'm saying it again. It is the worst hell in a cell match I've ever fucking seen in my life. Yeah. It is worse. It is worse than the Undertaker versus the Big Boss Man at 15. Yeah. Because at least in that match, the Big, big Boss Man got hung. <laughs> I thought that was real. I, I couldn't help but just like, oh, oh shit. I thought it was real too. I thought it was real. I was like, oh shit, he's dead. <laughs> and, oh, here's another reason why it pissed me off. This was for the number one contenders match against Brock Lesnar. Yep. Who the fuck wants to see Cena fight Lesnar again? It was awesome at SummerSlam. It was something I wanted to see for a long time. And then at Night of Champions, they made it out and Cena was, was going to fucking win. That's horseshit. Talk about no continuity, and you build Lesnar as this massive fucking monster heel. You had The Undertaker, you know, putting him over to do, you know, do the right thing for Lesnar in order to make this heel of him. And you almost threw it all away with fuckboy Buckethead. Ridiculous. And remember, Survivor Series was at St. Louis, Missouri, home of Randy Orton. Well, he was gone at the time, but I think he was making a movie or or doing something outside of WWE. <laughs> and what did they do? They have fucked that Buckethead. Fireman carried through his head through the fucking table. Shit. <laughs> Mother, fuck this match. You saw everything coming. The only two things that was positive about this match, one is that this was not the fucking main event. Yes. And second was two RKOs out of nowhere. Yes. That's it. This, and I feel so bad for Randy Orton because even though I don't like him on the mic at times, that motherfucker knows how to do in-ring psychology. He's an awesome worker. He knows how to wrestle. He's like a natural in that ring. Fuck yeah, my is. fucking head is anything but natural. Right. He sucks. He's fucking garbage. Yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a fucking fruitcake cocksucker. Okay, that's what he is. Yes. This Gee. guy is garbage. Mm -hmm. And yet he's getting a title shot against Brock Lesnar. That is absolute fucking horseshit. That is a failure. Vince McMahon and Kevin Dunn you need to quit. Let, yeah, you don't want to know why John Cena runs out, you know, what, looking like a fucking doofus running? It's because he just, every night before he goes out, he just gets done riding Vince McMahon's fucking jackhammer like a Bronco Buster. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, you have John Cena with his fucking big skill dick. And you have Vince McMahon sucking on that rainbow uh, cock like yeah. Like Adam was sucking on that lollipop. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, the worst match of the year: Cena versus Orton at that fucking Hell in a Cell match. That was deplorable in every fucking way. Gary. My worst match of the year is going to have to be, dare I say, Brock Lesnar versus the... I knew it. The Undertaker. I can't even say the match because it was just downright upsetting for me. As a big fan of... I knew it. As a big ass fan, diehard fan for The Undertaker... It should have not have been Brock Lesnar. It's you know sick. why? You know why the match was like 40 minutes long? Because it took Undertaker's old, old ass like 10, 50 minutes just to walk to the ring. <laughs> I give Undertaker props for trying. Hell yeah, I love the Undertaker. I give him his best for trying to, you know. Yeah. And he was hurt in the match. He had a concussion. and Well, then again, he's fucking 50 years old. Right. You know what I mean? I gave Undertaker his best for his age. I gave him, I mean, he gave his best, but Lesnar was the better man. Yep. He was the better man, admit it. 
Yes. Yes. But I'm not. I don't want to put it out there because I know it's not true. All right. Well. But Lesnar, but you just said it for me, but I mean, Lesnar was the better man. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I want to thank Gary and Jay Money for being Skype guests in this awesome video series. Go ahead, Gary. Oh, is he in the fetal position thinking about He's that? still <laughs> thinking about... Next minute, he's going to be taking a cold shower. Yeah. Yeah, I want to thank you guys for being Skype guests. By Absolutely. Far. Thank you so much for allowing us to be a part of this year's special. Until the next video, stay tuned. And once again, motherfuck the vagina face turd. Yeah. And fuck boy, fuck There you go. Um, thank you guys for enjoying. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know what you thought. What were your favorite matches of the year? What were your winners of the awesome categories that we did um, throughout this whole show? Thank you guys for watching. Till my next video, this is April's 19. Peace out, baby. See you guys next time.